in there with an external voltage regulator. So I'm just going to go through the troubleshooting that. Just using one tool, just using my multimeter. And I'll be going through what I'm doing to check this and go over everything to try to help verify if it's an alternator that needs replaced or if it's ex the external voltage regulator. Okay. So I'm starting with my multimeter and putting it into the continuity setting right there. You can see, I'm just showing the ohms on the screen and you can hear the beep. So what I'm gonna do is start with checking that the speak, that the wires are good from my voltage regulator here and going to the alternator and to the battery. So to start with on this voltage regulator here, they got four wires to them. So red wire, positive, so I'm going to the positive terminal on the battery. Get good connection. Next, I'm gonna go, this white wire here, goes to the back of the alternator itself. So put my one lead in there. And actually on the back of the alternator for me, this is going to be a green wire. Yeah, I'll try to get good connection. In here I got connection there. And then the blue wire on the alternator here, going to the alternator, blue wire on the regulator. And there's good connection there. So I know that these wires are good. And this bottom wire here on the voltage regulator is actually an output wire. So these are input wires. So this is the, the battery power of the car. And these two wires here the top wires are actually going to the alternator to control the voltage output of the alternator. So these two wires need to have a good connection to the alternator and this needs to have a good connection to the vehicle power. And then I also have an extra ground on this and I can check between the ground and anywhere on the frame here. And I should have good con connection all the way around, which I do. So as far as the wiring goes to the voltage regulator, I know that that is good enough for me. So next thing I'm gonna do is just go over to my alternator while it's running. I'm gonna check my voltage before I start the vehicle, and I'm gonna start the vehicle, check the voltage again. Okay, so we're checking the voltage before, so just going over to the terminals on the battery here. So beforehand, at the battery, looks like I have 12.2 volts. So we know that the battery's good. Now we're gonna start the engine and check what our voltage is after we start it, and then check if we're actually getting the signal from the alternator coming out to the voltage regulator. Okay, now that the car is running, check it again. And you'll see I'm actually down on voltage, down to 11.7, not a good sign. But now, this is when we check the last plug here. showing voltage so I turn the car off turn the car the key on and you see how the dummy light came on and shut right off okay so the reason that that's important is that the dumb is showing that the alternator is charging so the light on the dash is actually set up that it has a constant 12 volt power and this signal wire coming from the voltage regulator that we just checked that shows 12 volts so the reason that the light turns on is because we the alternator stops charging if the alternator is not charging that is a ground signal and that's when the light comes on on the dash so in this case we are charging the alternator is charging but at 11.3 volts so that's why it's telling me alternator is not functioning how it should. And so I'm gonna start, well, 
I've already changed my voltage regulator because that was showing me earlier that it was not working. I was not getting, had the power in, I was not getting the power out at the dummy light, or I wasn't seeing the ground and then transitioning into the 12 volt power. So I switched, I changed out my voltage regulator, and at that point, I got the power out of the voltage regulator, but it's only 11.3 volts, which is telling me that I need to change my alternator. So I'm gonna change the alternator, and then I'll show you again after that point what my voltage is, and you can see if it worked or not. Old alternator off, and if you look in here, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera, it's just a nice toasted burnt look all the way around. All right, so I got my alternator put in. I exchanged it. Now, uh, just as a test, you can see putting the voltage. I'm seeing that I have 12.4 volts. Yeah, so basically that's uh, how you test your alternator and it turns out for us I was right with the alternator being the, the issue. Um, probably the burnt windings that I found may, might have made a difference. So anyways, um, alternator's on and we know that, that was a problem. We replaced it and we're going to get back on the road and hopefully not have any problems. Thank <laughs> you.